Well, I'm waiting. You know, after what I do on my job, this doesn't even hurt. I mean, seriously, I'm a cartoon. Not even a nuke could kill me. Anyway, on to the video. Created by Anthony Rizzo, Sydney, Australia. This is the CSC We're Away, produced in 1939 to 1946 by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation, hence CAC. It was the first aircraft built by the CAC and started the foundation of aircraft production in Australia, at least for the military. Now, like most of my history videos, let's try and keep this short. I said try. I said try. The railway was based off the North American NA-16 training aircraft. Interesting story, the CSC ordered and tested an NA-16 in August of 1937, then gave the plane to the RAAF for training purposes, then the RAAF requested for the CSC to repair several problems with the plane, and later what looks like a back and forth with the plane between the RAAF and the CSC, the RAAF pretty much just said, fuck it, we'll wait for the we're ways to be built. By late 1938, they pretty much gave the plane to an engineering school in Ascot Valley in Melbourne. <laughs> Ascot. Anyway, the railway was intended as a training aircraft or advanced training aircraft and kind of a general purpose aircraft for the Royal Australian Aircraft Force and Royal Australian Navy, RAAF and RAN. Despite its use for training purposes, it did see combat during the early years of World War II. It became a fighter bomber or light bomber during the New Guinea campaign in 1942. This role likely ceased around 1943. Why 1943? Um, Let's see here. By 1943, the CAC produced the better CAC Boomerang. There was a deal with the North American Aviation Company under license to build the P-51, which would become the CAC Mustang. And of course, by 1943, America had already established a base in Australia with American planes already supplied and delivered to the RAAF and RAN. Basically, once they had better planes, the Weirway went back to doing what it was intended, training pilots. 755 railways were produced by the CAC. Out of all the railways, it only had one confirmed plane kill. I don't know if that's impressive or just hilarious. Given the specs it had when compared to what it was up against, I'm surprised it got a kill. After the Second World War, the railway continued to serve its purpose until it was retired around the 1950s for the CSC Wind Duel. I hope I said that right. As the advanced training aircraft, and technically both planes would slowly be phased out by the de Havilland Vampire Jet Plane as the military were beginning to integrate jet aircraft. Despite most of the railways being scrapped, at least 10 of them are in displayed in museums and or going under restoration, and even some of them are even airworthy. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, please like and subscribe, it brings a smile to my face. Uh, why not check my, uh, the next plane the CSC made, the CSA Boomerang, and then the Mustang, and then the Sabre. Yeah, I've already made those planes before. It, don't you just see them behind me? <laughs> Um, sorry this video took so long, um, it's just work is all, the videos are getting made, so it's just taking a long time, just not enough time for me to make them in a reasonable amount, so that's it, I'm done rambling, hope I see you guys next time, and yeah, that's it, bye.